Let's talk about film. This tutorial will help you begin to understand some basic concepts in the study of film and television. This discussion is designed for junior high students trying to compare written style to film style. I encourage you to take notes and apply these concepts to your viewing of movies and TV. These tutorials address four concepts, light, color, framing, and production design. Now, we will focus on color. Ready? Let's go. The definition of color is fairly obvious, but let's remember a principle based on a couple of concepts. Color in film is either saturated, meaning vibrant, bright, or desaturating, meaning dull and lifeless. Take this shot from The Hunger Games, for instance. The color is desaturated. That means everything seems a bit washed out and dull. That includes the setting, the clothing, and the character's very skin. This is desaturated color. On the contrast, this shot from The Hunger Games shows saturated color. Everything is very bright and vibrant, including the setting, the color of the clothing, and even the very tone of skin. What is this shot saying as opposed to this shot? Well, the answer to that question comes from an understanding of the Hunger Games story itself. But many conclusions can be made. The conclusions would depend upon your understanding of the story and what the authors are trying to express. But it starts with understanding that this is desaturated, this is saturated, and the two are quite different. We can move on to light as well, because light has a color too. It can be many colors, but warm yellow or cold white are common. Again, let's look at a shot from The Hunger Games. Here we see white light. The light does not seem to have much of a color to it. This scene shows an outdoor setting during winter with cold white lights lighting for television cameras. On the contrast, this shot from The Hunger Games shows yellow light. The setting is inside and the light is being cast by a natural fire as opposed to artificial lights. This shot presents quite a different message from this shot. And fans of The Hunger Games will understand the difference in message. There is something different going on with this setting and these characters than this setting and these characters. The color of light can express that. So what does color do? Well, desaturated colors can create scenes of lifelessness, whereas saturated colors can create the opposite. But that's not always true. On the other hand, saturated colors can create a sense of artificiality, whereas desaturated colors can seem real. In real life, saturated, vibrant, bright colors are rare and often created through artificial means, whereas the natural world is often desaturated. These messages depend upon the story. So do not simply look at desaturated versus saturated color and generate a conclusion automatically. Think about how they relate to the events of the story. We could also think about lighting. White lighting can seem cold or artificial, whereas yellow lighting can seem warm and real. How do you know what to think? Well, just identify the type of color either in lighting or in objects, and think of what it might do in the story. Here's an example from The Outsiders. In this shot, you can see that the director uses a cold light, see that bank of fluorescent lights overhead, with slight green to create an uncomfortable hospital environment. This is not a healthy, warm environment. The cold white light and the sickly green tone of the setting creates an uncomfortable feeling for the characters. Some final thoughts. Do not forget to pay attention to the color in camera shots and think about how it creates mood for the story or some sort of thematic message perhaps. Do not forget to think about these concepts as you watch your next movie or TV show. You'll be cinematically literate in no time.